Hey, it's Jackie and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm recreating two of my favorite Elizabeth Swan hairstyles from the first Pirates of the Caribbean movie. You guys seem to really like the last Keira Knightley video I did, which was Elizabeth Bennet in Pride and Prejudice. And in that tutorial, I did a very quick makeup look and then the updo. So I wanted to do another makeup look inspired by Keira Knightley and with this last style that I didn't include in this video, I will do a makeup look to go with that. So if you're not subscribed, subscribe and press the bell notification button so that you don't miss that upcoming tutorial. But I thought I would start with these two hairstyles because they're more on the wearable side and fun for summer. You can definitely tone this down and make it your own. So uh, yeah, if you enjoy, thumbs up. and. Comment down below if you have any other summer requests for me because I'm having tons of fun creating very summery videos. And lastly, before I get into the first style, I wanted to let you guys know that I do have merch now. So there will be a link down below in the description, but beneath the description, you can see all the products on Teespring. So I hope you like what I came up with and I'm obsessed with this mug. I've been using it every morning. So if you wanna get your hands on one, then there is a link down below and let's get started with the styles. First scene of the movie, we start out with a super cute young Elizabeth Swan and she has a beautiful half up half down do, and then when she awakes from that flashback, we have a more wearable version. With your hair in a center part, divide a horizontal section before the crown of your head and we will be teasing this layer by layer for a bit of volume to help polish off the look in the end. If you haven't teased your hair before, start with the bottom layer and then hold your hair on an angle with one hand while use a small comb to push the hair in a front to back motion, mostly focused on the root. Be gentle with your hair and to make the tees hold if you do have finer hair especially, use a high hold hairspray like this OGX one. This is the fiber full one and it isn't crunchy and can easily be brushed out so it's my absolute favorite. And once we are at the final layer, do less of a tease so that your hair will smooth over the more matted section we've created. And always go bigger than you want with volume so that when you begin to lightly comb over the sections to smooth out, you'll lose some of that volume and be left with more of a subtle poof. The hair was swept back on either side, so I'll come back to these sections later, but for now I'm just temporarily clipping them up and then I'm going to create some pretty curls. I'm using a small slash medium barrel today, I will have the same one linked down below or the same size barrel, and it's easy to use a clamp curling iron for decade looks like this because you can get the ringlet type of curl more accurately, but I love wands and they seem to hold curl better for my hair, so instead I like to pin each curl in a rounded shape while it cools to make sure you get a curl and not more of a wave. I like to pick up section by section, starting with the under layer, and for this entire look, we are curling towards the face. On the top layer, curl in smaller sections and just let the curls cool in your hand. I just do this so I don't get too many clips to take out and so that it doesn't get messy. and I'm starting to take down the curls um, after a couple minutes and because my hair is quite a bit longer, I brushed out the bottom while not disturbing the top curls and my hair is just very malleable so I'm gonna spray it in place and I'll do touch ups later to make sure this stays put, kind of giving a shorter hair length. Take out the clip from the side and I'm loosening this up and pinning upwards again so the swoop stays and just make sure you have a bit of volume there so it isn't flat to your head. Then I'm bobby pinning upwards and hiding the bobby pin with some of the hair from the back. Create a tiny curl from a small section of your hair in the very front. You might have shorter hair here just naturally and if you don't, just curl with the same wand and then pin in half hiding the loop under the rest of the hair that's swooping back. On the other side, let's repeat those same steps. And on one of the sides, I noticed it had more little curls around the ear, so I'm pinning a shorter piece to have the ends of the ringlet more around the face. I added a bobby pin to the shirt to keep the curls in place. This is more just for a recreation photo. To make this your own, go with whatever length of hair that you have so it's more movable. And finally, to add some blonde highlights to the front of the curls and to the swoop to make it stand out, I love the Colorista sprays from L'Oreal because they wash out easily, and this one's in gold, and there's my completed look. Super 
super wearable, and I got this nightgown from Amazon as well as the pendant from the movie, so I'll have everything listed down below. another half up half down do that screams 18th century, but since I wanted to go a little bit more wearable, I chose to recreate more of from the scene when Elizabeth's hair is more worn in and messier. This is my second day hair and I find the Colorista spray when brushed out looks a lot more natural, so this time instead of teasing from the back, let's tease that front section. We want this to be light and airy, so I'm teasing bit by bit, not too much here, but we want this look to be soft and easy to manipulate. I don't have super thick hair, so teasing a bit all the way down the strand really helps with um, getting that volume. And now that I look a bit crazy, I'm going to start smoothing out by taking section by section and then pinning separately. So on the sides especially, create a bit of a twist before bobby pinning. This will ensure more volume and some nice movement. I use this photo for reference and I'm taking the end of the comb and for every inch or so that I've worked with, I'm pushing it in or out more so that it isn't too perfectly in a rounded shape, but again, more soft and airy, hopefully that's the right wording. And then face framing curls are a must, so just take down some of the little pieces in front to curl later. Using my favorite hairspray again, this one saves my styles and makes my work last. If I don't use this hairspray or a similar one, it'll just fall flat on me. And next, let's do the little top knot. Take a back section and pull this upwards, twist it and then tease it in that twist. Then create a messy bun, again just twisting that into a circle and pinning with bobby pins around the base of the bun. I left out an end here and I'm using this to create a subtle pin curl at the front of the bun. And again, let's curl towards the face. This time, since it's more worn in, I'm not pinning them and letting them cool in the shape because I am gonna rough them up. And I'm shortening the look of my hair for fun with some bobby pins. And because we have this poof, it's a lot easier to bring the length shorter because you can pin the hair up into the poof and camouflage it. And again, curling some pieces freshly for more tighter curls around the face. Taking selfies with the phone case that is also in my line, so link in bio. And let's do the other side. Shide, shall we? Oh my god, wow. Let's do the other side, shall we? Okay, a uh, little more hairspray and colorista, and there is the second look. This romper, by the way, I got off Poshmark, and I love Poshmark because you can find very random pieces like this one. I didn't have to go out and buy a costume. This is Free People, I believe, and I tend to buy a lot of Free People stuff for videos. So yeah, links are all down below, as always. That description takes me forever. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed these Keira Knightley as Elizabeth Swan hairstyles, and if you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more pop culture videos every week. Ring the little bell notification button so that you don't miss any of my uploads, like the other Elizabeth Swan tutorial coming up with the makeup and hair. I know I say I'm gonna upload videos sometimes and then they take me months and months. Sometimes I'm just sitting on an idea until it's like more relevant in pop culture again. But for this one, it will be this summer because it's definitely a very summery video. And also, if you ever recreate any of these looks, be sure to tag me on Instagram because I love featuring you in my videos. So here's a couple pictures. And now that I have merch, if you want to, you know, take a picture of my merch and tag me, I will also feature you. Thanks so much for watching, and if you're looking to watch some more videos, be sure to check out the Margot Robbie as Sharon Tate in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I had a lot of fun recreating a very wearable 60s makeup look, and I'm super like flustered in that intro and outro. I was just sweating. I couldn't think. It's so freaking hot. I'm kind of dying in this uh, like velvet number as well, but um, I'm excited for fall. It is really hard to film hair tutorials in heat, and I always forget this, and I'm like, I can't wait for summer, and then filming in summer is 
rough. I am so sweaty. I've been going on for a while, so I will see you guys in my next tutorial. Currently on the Star of India. This is so cool. I didn't know I could actually go inside, but here I am. Mini block.